IHGN Studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello Braves and welcome to our 13th episode of Braves Beat. I'm Isaac Fiore. And I'm Greta Zender. By the way, how was your Easter weekend, Isaac? Well, it was excellent, to say the least. <laughs> well, I'm happy to hear about it. <sighs> All puns aside, there's a lot of news to cover, so let's get on with it. This April, the Autism Society of America is proud to continue its fourth annual Hashtag Celebrate Differences campaign in honor of Autism Awareness Month. Today, the Autism Society of America works to create connections and empowers everyone in the autism community to live fully. This organization believes that awareness and acceptance are needed to create a world where everyone in the autism community is connected to the support they need. Today is your weekly reminder about the Kappa Annual Film Production Camp if you are interested. Sign up soon at the link in the description below. Time is running short to sign up. Next Thursday, Students for Change is hosting a presentation and discussion about native mascots and their impact. The talk will take place during Flex in the MP room. They'll be talking about Indian Hills mascot and the recent trends around the use of native mascots. There will also be discussion groups so that everyone has a chance to share their thoughts. This is a good opportunity to talk about part of our school culture and spirit. All students and staff are welcome, so please come and join the conversation if you're interested. Talk to Mrs. Sayer, Elsa Zhao, or Tacey Hutton if you have any questions. Upperclassmen, listen up. Your 2022 IH Prom Committee invites you to enjoy a night in Greece. The dance is on May 14th from 7 to 10 at the Savannah Center, with after prom being from 11 o'clock to 1.30 a.m. at the high school. Tickets are $85 and can be purchased virtually using a link from Canvas announcements. If you need financial assistance for this event or have any questions, ask Mr. Schoenauer. Gino is still recovering from his last promposal. Let's see how it's going. Prom is less than a month away now. That means you don't have a whole lot of time left to decide if you want to go with a group of friends or bring a date. If you have a person in mind that you want to take to the dance, you should obviously ask them. As we said before, a prom proposal, short for prom proposal, is when one person asks another to prom in a funny or clever way. I have a perfect prom proposal in mind, but I, sadly I can't use it because I'm a sophomore, and that means I would need a junior or a senior to take me. You know, I have to ask, will you go to prom with me? <laughs> Tonight and tomorrow, Indian Hill High School Theater is putting on two plays and a musical as part of the student-directed festival. The shows are The Play That Goes Wrong, a thrilling murder mystery classic, Maze, a nuanced drama, and Pride of Lenin, a musical about Stalin, Trotsky, and the power of friendship. Tickets are $5 at the door and better be there to, to support your talented braves and student directors. Reese got an interview with Louise Shoney. Let's check it out. Hello, Braves, and welcome back to another episode of Student Spotlight. Today we have... Louise Shoney. So, Louise, tell us why you're here today. Um, I am here because I submitted a poem for creative writing and, like, to a poetry contest, and I made it to the semifinals. So, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. So, um, you said poetry. So, how did you get into poetry or doing poetry? Um, I chose to take Mr. Millard's creative writing for first semester. Shout out to Mr. Millard. Yes. And um, I had to write, or I had to create, come up with a student portfolio for my final project. Part of the project was to like have a certificate of completion that you submitted a poem to like a national um, poetry contest like online. And so, I chose Poetry Nation, and like a week, I wasn't really thinking it was going to get anywhere, but a week ago I opened up my email and it was like, congratulations, you made it to the semifinals. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So what is this like poetry contest? Is there a name of it or is it just? Um, I think it's just like a poetry, like poetry contest. Interesting. And yeah. what's the prize if you win? Um, the prize, first place is $2,000 and a plaque and second and third place is like $100. I need to get into poetry. That's yeah. that's what you told me. I need to get into poetry. So, um, do you have like a copy of the poem, or do you like know what it was like? I about? do. Um, it was about. I can't read it because I don't have it memorized. But it's um about New Year's resolutions and how we kind of adapt, and how we like make try to stick to them, but never actually stick to the resolutions that you create at the start of the year. I'm guilty of that. So really. <laughs> Severely yes. guilty of that. Yes. <laughs> well, Same. congratulations. Let's all hope that you do get yep. first place. And thank you for coming and meeting with me. And I wish you the greatest of luck. Oh, thank you, Reese. Back to you at the news desk. Great job, Reese. 
Conquer the Hill is tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. with games for the kids at the finish line at Tomahawk Stadium. You can find all details for this event in the description to learn more. Attention all 8th graders. The PTO is hosting a party for you at 50 West after graduation. The deadline to register for the celebration party is May 4th. Don't miss this chance to celebrate as there will be lunch, volleyball, foosball, and cornhole included with registration. The party will be on May 26th at 1 p.m. and you won't want to miss it. Music Fest is April 29th during the school day with activities and live music outside. There will be four food options available. Remember to bring cash to get Jersey Mike sandwiches, Chick-fil-A, La Rosa's Pizza, and Kona Ice. Hope to see you there. Be sure to take note of these important dates for next week. Math and biology makeups are on Monday. Be Brave optional experience is during Flex on Thursday. The Spring Choral Concert is on Thursday evening, and Music Fest is on Friday. Next week's schedule has been adjusted also. Here is next week's schedule. Monday is a regular 7th period day with math and bio makeup tests. Tuesday is a typical 7th period with advisory day. Math and bio makeup tests are also on this Tuesday. Wednesday is a block day with periods 1, 3, MP, 5, and 7. Thursday is another block day with periods 2, flex, MP, 4, and 6. And Friday is Music Fest Day. All seven periods will meet, but on a shortened time schedule. Music Fest begins at 1245. Let's hope for good weather. Well, that's all the news we have for this week. Anyway, be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And remember, stay, stay classy, classy in hell. We're just gonna walk around the school and find out how kids are feeling about after prom this year. I'm here with one of our full cheese men today, Ty Thorne. Ty, what are you excited for about after prom? Uh, I'm excited to get a, a nice massage. Sones, he's repping the nice pattern suit. Um, Carson, what are you excited for about after prom? I'm excited to take that bull for a ride. I'm here with BV. Ben, what are you excited for about after prom? I'm excited to test my hand in blackjack. I'm here with Jonah Walls, the last of the Fulci's men, rocking the blue. Jonah, what are you excited for about after prom? I'm very excited to have my mind blown by the magician. What are you excited about for after prom? Um, I really hope we have a lot of good snacks. So what was your favorite part about after prom last year? Um, I would say just getting in comfy clothes that you can like run around with your friends in and playing competitive games and just having a blast until 1 a.m. Can you tell us about your inflatable race that you had last year? Yeah, so last year after prom, I actually raced Marina Anderson and I won. Mm. and the inflatables in the gym and I'm actually really excited to do that again this year so what are you excited for for after prom this year uh, I hope this is gonna be a chocolate fountain and I'm going to jump into it at the end of the night are you excited about anything for your first after prom uh, I heard there was gonna be a chocolate fountain and there's gonna be rewards like a free parking spot yeah are you into gambling Severely. Um, what are you excited for most about for this year's after prom? Chocolate fountain. I know. And I heard there's a coffee station too? Yes. So what are you excited for about after prom? I'm excited for the donut bar, the funnel cakes, and the fried Oreos. After prom this year is going to be three words. Um, lit, crazy, and movie.